Hello saviors and welcome! My name is Samar24 and today I'm continuing with Final Station. Now we found out about some more of the, uh, about the creatures that, that acquired us during the visitation, but we have no true idea as to what they actually are. We know we sent the Guardian aft in order to defend them, us against them, but apparently the Guardian may not even be enough because they are able to, dis to snap it like a twig. I have no idea exactly as to what is going to happen, but all we can do is press forward because we're not really getting much more storytelling going on here other than what we've already experienced, and that's not a lot to go with. So let's start by going backwards because half the time, that's a good thing. Alright, going underground, huh? Always fun. Let's see what else is over here first. Vito's Sawmill. Oh, come on. My aim's not that bad. <laughs> Apparently it is. Anonymous, this is your last warning. Leave the tree alone. And if you don't, you'll be sorry. This is ridiculous. I'm calling the police. Save the trees! Well, there's food, and... Money, apparently. Not much else, though. Well, at least I got the food already, but, um... I'm gonna need to explore the underground areas, too. Thomas, we're swamped at the warehouse. Where are you? I don't think I'm coming back. Why not? All those threats? I don't think we should just ignore them. We should have never gotten involved with that tree. Jesus, are you serious? Tree huggers have always latched onto us. What's the matter with you? I don't know. I'd be paranoid too with all the crazy stuff that's happening. Boom. There we go. Okay, so they're dealt with. Soap and cigarettes. Nice. Uh oh. Oh no. That little guy is guarding the bigger guy. How am I supposed to do this? Especially now that I've done. No! Crap. Well, here's the thing. If the big guy gets rushed, he can't really defend himself. Because he, like, tries to retreat or whatnot. Die. Yeah, there we go. Okay, just bum rush him is all you gotta do. Empty. You had nothing on you. Members of a religious group known as the Order of the Advent have taken over a coal mine in the south. As a result, we have to change our heating plans for the winter. This year we will be using, using wood heat, which means that your business is going to have a lot of responsibility. Richard Ducat, Ministry of Natural Resources. Sounds like people are trying to get these people to leave nature alone. Now I gotta deal with the two crawlers. Oh gosh, and they hit hard. Okay. Not sure how I'm gonna deal with these two. Okay, good. They they left the ladder alone. That's good. Die. Okay, good. Finally. Get out of my way. Are you serious? Okay, good. Got those two. And I just pop that one in the head and good to go. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, crap. That's not what I was expecting to do. I think it's because they hit me that I actually flinch and drop the barrel. Drop the ball. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come back this way. Come. No, come back this way. Ah, oh, gosh. Why do you guys got to be so dang difficult? Oh, now you're gonna. Oh, nope, hold on. It's just gonna go right on back over there. The only way I can really see to get onto those two is to try and hit them from behind. So I would either have to. Oh, gosh, another. That's right, you won't defend yourself when I bum rush you, huh? Okay, gasoline. Perfect. No, you're not getting away. 
Okay, so I can do the same thing with the other guy, but um, I'm gonna need to find my way through to get behind him. So I found gasoline and food over here, which is great, but I still need water. I'm willing to bet that I can also find that over here as well. A survivor! Hey dude, what are you doing here? Me? What are you doing here behind the planks? I'm looking for my axe. I want to go back to the workshop and finish off those creatures. I've got a better idea. How about you just come... Wow! Okay! Well, his medical skills aren't nearly as good as Matthew Sanders, but he's got great crafting. I want him. He's really good. Nope, 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 nope. You're not getting away. He must have taken damage from the, uh, from the fire barrel because he didn't, uh, he didn't take long to go down. Oh, that was close. He almost got a strike on, on me. Gunpowder, workwear, pencil, books. Bat, you're gonna go down. Just keep my distance and smack you in the face. Good. So yeah, okay, the water's gonna have to be the only thing I get on the other side. As per usual. So now I've got a new passenger with me who's gonna be much better at crafting. Doesn't look like there can be survivors. Well, probably not, considering how you pr pretty much found the only one remaining. Wow. What a tree. Oh, gosh. Hello. Hey, no. Ugh. How'd you survive? Don't forget, no lumberjack gets out of this alive. If you miss one, you won't get paid. I'll expect a report in the morning. Well, he's already dead, so they were planning on killing the lumberjack. I'm guessing it was because of this particular tree. They were trying to do something with this tree, or this tree had something going on with it and they wanted to like exploit it. Who knows? Well, there's the water bottle. Oh, jeez. What the hell has happened here? Those are bullet wounds. Yeah, we found the culprit too. All right, well, we're done here. Time to get out with our new lumberjack friend. He's gonna have to patch me up a little bit. Time to go. Sorry, Cook, but uh, I got a lumberjack now. Heal me up. 40 HP is good. You're welcome. What? You could just say thank you. He's not sure what to say thank you about. I rescued you from that warehouse. You suggested that I come with you. I agree. How is this a rescue? Very well then. Back at the factory, I could have managed it my way out. Yeah, these things are getting a little Aren't you arrogant? Right? Like, jeez. Ha! Mark Rayan? You think you were the only one prepared for the visitation? Nobody was prepared for the visitation. Well. If you're so smart, maybe you know something about the shelter near Ristol. Yeah, it's a good question. What about Bristol? And he's got nothing. Not much. Great. Yeah, his social conversations really aren't that high end. Okay, so he'll take a lot less resources in order to craft stuff, which is great. So I'll create another med kit and some bullets. Wow, he doesn't take a lot to make bullets, does he? I should have waited until I got to this guy. He'll be, he'd have made a shit ton of bullets. So where are we heading to next? I hope there are some survivors. I wonder what this place is. Kind of seems like a familiar place, but wouldn't hold my breath. Well, immediately we found gasoline, and there's a cracked wall here. Did I kill something on the other side? No idea. We'll find out as we progress. 
Nice. Always good to explore. Leave no dirt, no dirt, no dirt unturned. You should not have survived the first hit. Your last buddy didn't. Poop. Poop. Is anyone alive? I'm guessing he's just asking. Oh, perfect. I also found out that you can actually swing in order to go a little bit faster. Not much faster, but faster nevertheless. Poop. Pa, pa. Ooh. Come here. Come here. Bye bye. Oh jeez. Wait, this is familiar. This is one of the towns that I visited. I recognized like the area and the the setup. I already found another person. Jesus, are you from the train? What the hell are you talking about? How did you get here? I drove a car. Thank goodness. Can I come with you? Oh, no, 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 no. I just got somebody who's good at crafting. I don't need somebody who's only good at medical leave. Because, let me tell you, I don't need a lot of medical plans set up for me because I got my own med kits created right now. I need somebody who's good at crafting. Um, okay, so I don't think there's anything else that I can do here. So, let's move on. I may very well go down there again. No, it doesn't look like there's anything else down there. So I've only got the gasoline, which means that the other two items should be this way. Oh, jeez. Don't want to go down there. Now with the spitter on the other end. It's a death trap. Anyone home? I see. Okay, so there's not a lot of information I'm getting around here. Good thing I'm able to just walk off ledges. That would make That would be tedious if I had to go back. Okay. Some whiskey. He died with a drink in his hand. What do you mean you deactivated the crystal? Had you lost your mind? It was a direct order from Adam. He wants to transport it by train. Transport it where? And what's going to happen to us? The entire city depends on it. I know, but orders are orders. Jeez, this is going to be nuts. Uh, I made a mistake. Crap. I just wasted a ton of bullets on that. When I could have used the f fire barrel. I was trying to use the fire barrel too, but the enemy were got a little too close too quick. Water. Where the fire barrel? Oh, come on. Just bum rush. Ah. Oh. Well, at least I get another shot at the fire barrel, because that was BS. Wow, it puts me right next to the fire barrel, too. Okay, that worked. But I still gotta bum rush this guy. Oh, wait, he's coming my way. I don't care if you spit on me, I'll get you a tenfold. See, it like jerks you forward whenever you swing your weapon, so you gotta really be careful about how you do that. Money, workwear, cigarettes, just money, money, money. Just die. Pistol ammo, nice. Anything else? No information? Nada. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be anything there. Did I miss anything? I want to make sure that I got everything. Yep, see here, here. I don't really need to deal with these guys, but I kind of want to anyways. Jeez, I should have just left them alone. They hit me pretty hard. Oh well. I crafted another med kit so I can use one. Go ahead. Let's just use it up. See, it makes me a little faster every time I swing my weapon. It's 
a small margin, but it's faster, nevertheless. Okay, going up. Let's see what happens. Oh, jeez. Alrighty then, so what surprises wait for me this time? No, I don't want to follow the arrows. I want to go the opposite direction of the arrows. Dear Adam, now that you and my son Armin have graduated high school, you have a bright future ahead of you. It's important that I ask you a favor for a favor now because I don't think I'll have another opportunity to do so. A man named Arthur Vane is going to return someday, and I want you to do whatever it takes to keep my son away from him. This won't happen for decades, so it's very important that you remember otherwise that you remember. Otherwise, the course of the future will be impossible to change. Vermont White, 64 years from the FV. Uh huh. Traitor. He looks like a monkey. He looks like he was a monkey. <laughs> I'm hearing voices. You were supposed to damage the crystal. That was part of the deal. I think they will have no issue with the Guardian. Does it matter? With or without the crystal? It doesn't matter to them. What matters is that you didn't pass a test. Oh, a test? What's with the shelter? Did you leave it open for my people? I think I forgot. Sorry, too much work too bad. Is he gonna shoot him? I thought you realized how it's going to end. It is inevitable, Adam. We'll see. Armin wanted to talk to you. Armin? Is he here? Yes. Let's go. I'll open the door. They just completely ignore me, include especially the guy with the shotgun over his shoulder. Adam, I don't think that machine is a reliable option, but there's a chance he'll succeed. Blacksmith, under conditions like these, a chance is plenty. He is going to appear today. Aren't you afraid? I'm too important to them. I don't have anything to be afraid of. Hey, wait! I will talk to you later. I was pretty sure that the outlay of this area was different from that. What the hell? Where did they go? Yeah, and that's a good question. How did they just up and disappear? Adam Thornton's meeting schedule. Uh, Alex Medham, cancel. Richard Green, workshop manager. Vanessa Ridley, head engineer. Anytime important. Edward Jones, machinist. And there's the food. Mechanist, huh? So what the hell happened here exactly? And what are those two? Are we going to see more of the conspiracy theory thing going on here? Who knows? Is there anything to do with it? That's just luggage. Okay. Well, it looks like that's everything, so I'm just going to go ahead and head to the car. And when I get done with driving the car and head into the next area, I'm just going to go ahead and end the episode there. I have no idea how much further this game will go, but I do know that it will probably still go for a little while longer. Time to go. All right, patch me up there, dude. They don't want... Why don't you want me to come out with you? I can protect myself. I know. Yeah, he's showcased that earlier. Our goal is not to protect ourselves. We need to look for information and supplies. I can do that, too. Uh, are you sure about that? You seem a little hot-headed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, this shelter is also closed. This is bad. There's only one shelter left, which would be... in the mountains in the west. Is it far away from here? Not too far. Never too far to drive. Good. 
Let's make a stop first. Yeah, I need to take a break too. Is it going to be a supply stop? If it's a supply stop, that's great because I can just spend my money because I'm going to need to. Yes, it's a supply stop. I haven't had one of these in a while. It looks like the same person. What happened to the woman? They looked like they got ambushed or something. Hello. Where? I'm sorry. Yeah, he looked like he had it rough. Pretty rough. Let's buy all the bullets you got. Buy all the med kits. Because unfortunately, you don't look like you're going to be doing much more of it. Looks like he lost his wife. And I'm guessing this is going to be the last actual pit stop we can really take. We can, I can go now. And he didn't even talk back. He just stood there and just... He must be in pain. Listen, I forgot to tell you. I'm not turning around to pick up relatives. Wives or children. What is that? If you have a daughter at home and your house is out of the way, then I'm really sorry. His family's probably already dead. I'm going to the shelter. This is my main goal. I just don't want you to expect any additional help from me. I'm not expecting anything. Oh. Well then. I'm all alone. I don't have anyone. That's why he was willing to go on a suicide mission. And believe me. Because he has no one to go back to. If I had a daughter. He probably wouldn't be riding with me in the first place. You'd be lying in a ditch with your neck broken. And I would be driving this car to her. That's a family man right there. Alright. Jeez. He wasn't joking around about that either. He wouldn't... He wouldn't have taken kindly to having his daughter like trapped somewhere in the area we just came from. And who knows if he would have even made it, assuming he had a daughter in the first place. Alright, but assuming nothing more, we're just going to go ahead and leave it here. Quite some uh, dark and sad details, but still some pretty good game. This looks like another area I've been to already, but you know what? I'm not even going to assume until I get to exploring. The previous area that I was in, however, is an area that I was at before, but I don't think I got to explore as much of it as I did in the original DLC, or in the original game, when I was just exploring it for, like, resources and whatnot, because it was a zombie-free zone. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and have to leave this here. Thank you everybody so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Leave a comment in the section below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, saviors!